Hello everybody, it's Kevin Salvatello with One Team Realty. I'm out here in St. Cloud checking out a community called Amelia Groves. And today we're gonna to be checking out the Medina floor plan. This home is a little bit more than 2,200 square feet. It comes standard as a three bedroom, three bath, but you can make it into a fourth bedroom. And this home currently starts at 414,990, so basically 415,000. But I want you guys to stay tuned throughout the whole video because at the end of the video, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the area and what is to come. So please enjoy the video. Okay, so let's take a look at the Medina. Now they did put the bay windows option, which definitely gives you some nice curb appeal. And the bedroom there too, it's awesome. So I'll, I'll show you guys that bay window because this is pretty cool. Now I really like this home. I took a quick tour of it and it's a really good four bedroom, three bath, or three bedroom, three bath, but could easily be converted into a four bath, or sorry, four bedroom. So right away, you are welcome with a nice foyer. Now, of course, you're not able to do this and this doesn't come included, but it is something you can do after closing. Um, they haven't had their grand opening yet, so if you hear some beeping, I'm sorry for the smoke detectors ahead of time. But we're gonna start off right here in the front where we have a linen closet. Always good to have extra storage space. And then here we got a full bath. So you got your sink, you got your toilet, and then of course the shower. And then going on over, we do have our first bedroom of the tour. And it's the one with the bay windows. Definitely a good size. Adding the bay windows adds a few extra square feet to the house. So as you can see, they put like a little seating area. So definitely nice. Uh, it makes the outside look prettier, the inside bigger, and this bedroom even nicer. One option definitely worth looking at. And then we're gonna continue right over here. So to my right, that'll be the entrance for the garage. So we won't take a look at that. But right over here, we do have the laundry room. So you see you got your washer and dryer right there. And then on this side, you can play around with it. I will personally put some cabinets down here and a countertop. You could leave, you could do the sink upgrade if you would like, and then put a nice countertop where you can actually fold the clothes there instead of like me, I bring it out to my dining table and start folding clothes there. So pretty nice laundry room for sure. And that will be the AC closet. I'll, I'll show you guys since I'm here. Oh, I'm sorry, not AC closet. This a random storage space and AC. Definitely a big storage space, a good spot if you want to put your brooms away, your mops. That works perfect for that. That's such a big AC closet. It kind of reminds me of under the staircase storage, but I mean, it's a one story. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at this bedroom. So as you can see, Nice normal bedroom, but it is not a normal bedroom because if we turn around right over here, it has its own bathroom. And then you got me right there. I don't come included with the home, I'm sorry, but I could be your realtor. So yeah, this bedroom has its own private bathroom. Definitely one nice thing, if let's say if you got two kids, and this will be a great guest room. Now we're going to look at the flex space dash fourth bedroom. So right over here, this is considered a flex space, but you could upgrade it so you could have a fourth bedroom. So right now they have it set up as a flex space with office space. So. Of course, you could change that and make it a bedroom. Now, this living space is huge, I gotta say. And, I mean, you could do a lot of things with it. 
Yeah, I'm gonna explain it to you as we go through it. So right there, we got the kitchen, we got the nook, living room, and then we got this space. So they put some extra seating, but if you look up, they have a pre-wire for a lamp and they put two lights right there. So I'm assuming this is actually your normal, more like a formal dining. So you could put a nice big table here if you don't want to use that table over there. And like that, you can have a bigger table for the family Thanksgiving dinners and whatnot. Or you can leave it like that. Do whatever you want. It's your home. There's plenty of space to mess around with here. See here, you got big dining, or sorry, dining, living space. I would personally probably scoot it that way a little bit if you're going to do the dining space right here. And then you can put a, these chairs more over there. Right there is your normal dining space. And then we got the kitchen. So they didn't do any crazy upgrades here. Now, of course, they do include the quartz countertops. The, they added the backsplash. So just your normal kitchen, nothing too crazy. Like that, you get an idea how you get the home. Because lots of times they, they spend like $20,000 in upgrades in the kitchen. So it's nice seeing a model home with a kitchen just like this. Get a good idea. Now, like I told you, they haven't had the grand opening yet. I'm assuming since it has those little things on the wall that there's another shop right there. And then we have the master bedroom right there, but I wanted to go out back and show you what they have back there. Now in Florida, outdoor living is something really important. Of course, you want to, I don't know, grill your hot dogs, grill your hamburgers, entertain out back. And Pulte, they knocked it out the park with this floor plan because take a look at this big cover lanai that you get included. Definitely works well for me. Now, of course, you don't have the biggest backyard on this specific lot. Every lot is going to be a little bit different, but there's definitely a lot that you could do with that. I will personally break paper at all, and then you could kind of customize it from there. If you want to do a fire pit in one spot, you could leave the barbecue on the side. You could play some good cornhole, put some benches along the wall. You could definitely play with it. A lot of people get turned off with a smaller backyard, but if you play with it, you could, you could achieve a lot for sure. And now we're going to check out the master bedroom. Definitely a good size bedroom closet and everything. So you can see there, you got your king size bed with the nightstands. So there's plenty of space after the nightstands. So good amount of space for sure. And I like the green wall. I actually have a green wall in my master bedroom. So they kind of copied me there. <laughs> and right over here, we have the master bathroom where you do get double sinks included another green wall and then this master shower is an upgrade but it's huge i like myself a big master shower so this will definitely do the job for me and it's nice too because you could turn on your shower and not get hit by the cold water at all because it, it'll turn on over there. I would turn it on for you, but there's no water yet. Remember, they didn't have a grand opening yet. And then they do put a little bench and a niche. Good spot to put your soap. And we'll continue right over here to our left. You got a linen closet inside the bathroom, which is always really good to have. I don't have one and I wish I did. Got the closet, we'll check that out in just a second. But here you got your toilet room. And the closet is actually pretty good. So take a look. You got a shelf there. 
you got two shelves on that side. And then you got two more shelves over here. So maybe the husband could take one side and then the wife could take the rest. <laughs> That's how it will probably end up being. Thank you for watching today's video with me today. I had a great time showing you around this Medina floor plan by Pulte Homes. And I did promise you guys that I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about the area. So we're a little bit away from Narcusi, so pretty close to Narcusi. And Narcusi is a good spot to be in because you are close to Lake Nona. And being close to Lake Nona, you got a lot of shops, you got a lot of restaurants, bars, and jobs. I mean, people got to work to pay their bills. So uh, if that's something important for you, then this might be the spot for you. And there's an also another big master plan community that's going to have tens of thousands of new homes, commercial, schools, called Sunbridge. And that's a, probably a 10 to 20 year long project that just started this past few years. And it's, it's a big project. So there's a lot of growth in this area. So it's always one thing you want to take a look at when you're buying a home that there's a lot of room for growth. Like that, your property can keep growing in value and make money off your investments. All right. So thank you again for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. I respond to everybody's comments. And if you or anybody you know is looking at buying a home or selling a home in the Central Florida area, call me. I'll love to help you guys out. In the meantime, you guys take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.